the Joe Rogan experience. Again, with the looming litigation, I do get a little bit sort of uh, tongue shy because this is just going to be, I'll, I'll be sued again, man. <laughs> it yeah. kind of freaks me out. I, I really want, you know, it's the same premise of writing a book. It's like, great, write a book, but it's like, I can't do anything with it because I'll be sued. I'll be sued. Oh, it's yeah. a virtual guarantee. Now the, 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 the bright side is it seems to me like uh, Marine Land is not going to be around for terribly long, a terribly long time. Once they're dissolved, oh, you bet your ass I got lots to talk about. I mean, I would love if I could speak of everything without having to sort of watch. You know, I, I really do have to keep from saying a lot of stuff, um, not on account of it being illegal, but just on account of the fact that it will it'll virtually guarantee me additional hostilities and, you know, legal yeah. issues. No, I, can, I can completely I kinda understand. Can't do it. So, I completely understand. I do look yeah. forward to that day where I'm sort of free and unencumbered and just can just be fucking me again, you know? Yeah. Well, if you're in that business right now, you got to be looking at the future going, we got to get out. We got to get out before they take us out. That's precisely what's happening. So the speculation is uh, Marine Land's lawyer is now the sole controlling mind. And he, that's precisely what his job is to transition this from. We know that they've sold property. They sold the golf course. They sold the campground. Uh, we know now that they're, they're uh, I'll say, I'll use the word selling. It might not be the right term because Marine Land claims there'll be no financial uh, exchanges. But, uh, you know, that, that's yet to be seen. Um, yeah, the writing's on the wall. They're going to be gone. I don't think the wife has any interest. What I mean, she's she's pushing seventy something. She probably doesn't want to be a part of this. She's never really had a heavy hand in it. I mean, she had her. She had. She sort of took care of the cash business aspect of it. She sort of. She had her role in it, but it wasn't like a management position, making decisions on animals' health, importing, exporting, things like this. Like it's just beyond her. Mm -hmm. So what 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 we've been told is that uh, Marineland's owner in his final days. There's a wish list. This is what happens to the park. This is what happens with this. This is what happens with this. And you can bet your ass that there is something about a walrus and there's something about me in there. What it is, at least that I know of right now, is obviously hostilities till the end. I think that what's happening is the lawyer is fulfilling uh, John Holder's wishes with me. I think it's. I think it's in the books that he can't just end this thing or... I, I don't know. It's it, it's the a very precarious dead. time. I know. The guy's dead. Let it go, folks. The lawyer doesn't like me. We of can't course. be in the same you room. You talk a lot of shit, bro. Look, you know what he, he actually said? at the camera. Told him to go fuck himself or whatever he said. That's going to be in court documents. I didn't say that. I said that to a senator. <laughs> but he'll oh, run sorry. with that. That's okay. Will it be in court documents? Oh, he's watching. He's listening. I mean, uh, I, I sort of half hope that he sues you, Joe. I hate to say that, but I Shut sort of half Shut the fuck hope. up, sorry, bro. Dude. Sorry, dude. I, I don't wish that on my... Best of friends, but man, would that's <laughs> that would be something. It's not gonna happen. But how uh, the fuck do you know it's not gonna happen? Yeah, you're, no, you're just talking shit. You just put it out there, man. It's bad, no, it's not gonna bad juju. Happen. We talked about this last time too. I think that what they do in terms of that business, for their own sake, they should stop. For everyone that's profiting off that, you got to find an exit strategy. And I don't just mean Marine Land. I mean anyone who understands my language. That's, that's hearing my words, you should stop. This is not the future. This is, you can't do that anymore. This is, going, you, this is going to look horrible just a few years from now where people who've seen blackfish, people who do understand what those things are, the more we find out about dolphins and orcas, the more we understand them, it's going to be more and more. It's not like, oh, wait a minute, we just did some tests. We found out they're, they're like crabs, bro. They're dumb as fuck. Like, you just eat them. <laughs> That's not going to happen, man. We're more and more impressed with them the more we study them. I am more than happy to negotiate with Marine Land that rather than signing any type of non-disparagement, because I don't want my speech virtually locked in a, uh, in a, in a legal document, um, I'm a forgiving person. I don't need, I'm only responding in kind to their hostilities. They come at me with war. I bring it back. I, I don't want to. I have to. Yeah. I take it right back up to where they bring it. Then they do this. I got to do this. Then they do this. I'm like, what are you fucking thinking? It's like, if they would just, di just dial it back, I can be a happy, smiley, not chirping Marine Land guy. I don't have to be, I don't have to do that. I've done what I've had to, to be where I am. 
the man who was who created this scenario is gone. We don't need the hostilities anymore. So what is the lawyer's motives exactly? I don't know. But I can assure you, now that they've blacked out the fence, they, they're doing everything they can to suppress uh, our information. They've bought up all the billboards, in uh, all the available billboards in Niagara Falls so that they've got marine land signs because you know, we have put up, like as activists, activists have put up billboards. Uh, one of which was like right at the entrance of Marineland last year. It was a thing of beauty. So they, you know, they bought all these things up. They really don't want bad PR right now. My guess is trying to get rid of the animals, mitigate the PR losses, because there's already a, a, a sound foundation of it, of bad PR, and sell the property, get rid of it all. And I think, you know, they're trying to fast track an accreditation so that they can facilitate animal uh, uh, movements and whatnot. My greatest weapon right now, unfortunately, is that I can assure them a great deal of, uh, of financial risk. I have, and I certainly can and am right now. They need to take that into consideration. When you consider the price of a walrus, and let's just use the number 100,000, which is a grossly inflated number for a walrus. And let's say Marineland were to say, hypothetically, well, why would we give you a $100,000 asset when it's going to cost us less than that just to finish this litigation? And we'll owe you 25K at the end of some shit. Why, why would we do that? It doesn't make sense. And I say to them, it's because I'm going to make that walrus cost you tens of millions. Consider that. Lose the hostilities. I'll make you guys heroes. We can do that too. The narr- this narrative doesn't have to continue. The narrative of war can end with, with the dead owner. It, it could have ended, but... Well, they're all invested in it. And one of the things about lawsuits, it's like people, when they get it started, there's a game going on. You're trying to win. You're trying to win, trying to get the other side to cave. I mean, this is a lot of what this is all. And obviously, you've taken this very personally. This is all part of you now. Can I explain something really messed up? Yeah. I now, because we're coming to an end, the, you know, the law that I've been advocating for is going to pass. Um, this lawsuit is going to end. The animals will, I mean, we're going to find out what's going to happen to them in, in the, in the near future. We already know what's, what's becoming of some. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like to live without a lawsuit. Once the prospect it's of not be nice, bro, you're going to be on the beach, your feet up. When the prospect came around of me not having one anymore, that's not how I saw it. It's weird. I'm oddly connected strangely to strangely Addicted and married to a fucking lawsuit. I can't yeah, you'll see be past it. Listen, we'll get you through. <laughs>